today we're going to be building this password generator and it works like any other password generator. You can say, I don't want symbols and then it won't add symbols. I don't want numbers, then it's not going to add numbers. And you can even pick the length here. So I can say, well, I only want a password that's eight long and then it will only generate a password that is eight long. So let's get right into the code. So the first thing we're going to be doing in our HTML is to require in our styles, which I will go over last. Then we are going to be adding this form here, which is the form, this whole thing here. And I will ID that with form. Then we had define the title. Then we add our first option. And this is actually the final result. The next option here is just the password length. And we define this like this. And then it's just the same here. It's just lowercase, uppercase, symbols, numbers. And then at last we have the generate button, which runs this generate function. And then right here in the bottom, we are requiring in our generator.js file, which is the thing we're going to be taking a look at next. So in our JS file, the first thing we'll define is this generate function. Then we'll set up some variables for containing all of the different values that we have. This will also be all of the input. So you can see the way I am extracting the data out of those uh, checkboxes and the uh, number value up here. And then I'm just doing a quick check. If none of these here are defined, then we can of course not generate a password and therefore we'll return. And this, and if you're new to programming, this might look a bit strange, but essentially a true is a one and a false is a zero. So you can see the way I'm doing this, I'm just adding all of the things up. And if they equal zero, then, or is under zero, then we'll return because that means that none of these are checked. Then we will make a loop that will run as many times as the length. So let's say eight times. Now this code here looks a bit complicated, but it is pretty simple. The way this works is just generating a number in between zero and three and storing it in this value R. And this code here just says if lowercase is true, meaning that we have picked to generate lowercase and R is equal to zero, then we'll add a random lowercase letter. But let's say in the case R was zero and lowercase was not true. Well, None of these other cases would be true either. So it would go down here in the else and it would subtract one from i. So essentially, since this added one to i and moved along, and this moves to the length, this would subtract one. This would essentially mean that we wouldn't have moved anywhere and it would just run again. And it will just keep trying and if it doesn't quite make sense, try to just write this code and run it and you can see the way that it works. And then we just add that password to the text content of the final result. And then we run the generate function on first load. So that means that there will be a password whenever we refresh the page. So in our lowercase function here, pretty simple. All we do is that we do string dot from jar code, and then we generate a value in between this value and this value. And that's really all it is. The way I found these was just by Googling JavaScript jar codes list and I can see that values from here to here will generate lowercase letters. Don't worry, I will go over this generate function later. And uppercase is just a different range, so, but pretty much the same code. And the symbols here is just a string with all of the different symbols that we want to generate. And then we just pick a random value because a string is like an array. So you can just pick a random value in between the length of the string and that will just generate a random value. So it will either pick this one, it will only pick one, but this one, this one, or this one, or this one, or this one. So it's just gonna pick one out of all of these characters. And the last function we have down here is the random function. And the way it works is just generating a random number, then multiplying that by the max, which is added one, and then we subtract the minimum and plus the minimum back. And if you don't understand this, well, I don't either. So you don't really have to understand this line here. Essentially what it does is just generates a random number in between the min and the max. 
and if you didn't add this plus one here and the max was one, then it wouldn't actually generate a number. It would have to be two to generate a number in between zero and one. And the last thing which I will quickly go over is the CSS, but this isn't specifically very good CSS. So that's why I'm gonna just go over it pretty quickly. But in our body, we will set these properties. In our form, we do these and we make sure to center the title. And the result we set like this, and all of the options are set like that. And the input is flow right. And then at last to generate, which is the button, we will set like this. And all of those things together will get you this password generator. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.